John Wick. Now, of course, I'm super far behind on this review, but I decided that with John Wick 2 being out, I would officially review this film. Um, I'm actually going to see John Wick 2 tonight, finally, so I'm like, I have to do it today before um, I end up seeing that. This is going to be a spoiler review. I do, you know, I kind of do like a half and half thing with the movie being so old. I don't want to do two separate videos. So just going into it spoiler free wise. Um, I love this film. I think it's a great action movie. I even got my little prop gun here just to mess around for the review. It echoes a lot in here. So that was probably super loud, but I really thought it was a great action movie. You know, it, it's got a little bit of emotion in the beginning, which of course I'll get to uh, more in the spoiler section. That's literally like the only thing you can really spoil is the beginning of this film because people know the simple part is like, oh, they, they killed his dog and stole his car. That's like in the trailer, but they don't go into like the real good detail as to why that matters. And with it being an action movie, that's pretty much all it needs to do. They, it could be like they knocked over, you know, like a lamp and he killed everyone. He's like, it's a stupid action movie. Like I wouldn't, I mean, that would be, that would still be a bad story. This actually has a decent one, but for some action movies, it's the simplest thing. It's like, oh, this kid, you know, threw a baseball through the guy's window, so he killed his whole family. It's an action movie. It's just crazy. This has a better story than that. It actually makes logical sense, and they actually build a pretty good world around this crazy beginning that, you know, you just kind of, you know, going into it, if you see the trailer, it's like, okay, you kind of know what's going on. But if you have no real idea, like I recently saw it with my girlfriend, because she'd never seen the first film, and she didn't really know anything about it. She just knew it was like, these people killed his dog and stole his car. That's all she knew. And she's like, okay. When she saw it, it was like this, it, it makes a lot more sense now because before it just seemed like a really ridiculous reason to go so crazy. And she didn't even know that he was actually an assassin, which is like in the trailer. I, you know, it's not her type of movie really. So it made sense to me. It was like, yeah, she wouldn't even know that because that's really in the trailer. It's like, it's obvious to pick up like, yeah, this dude was an assassin. So... I thought that was really cool that if you literally do, knew nothing, so sorry if that was a spoiler, but you would have to literally know nothing about this film going into it to not even realize that, you know, he was an assassin. So it was interesting watching her go through this with like no recollection or really not knowing, you know, even the simplest details about it outside of dead dog, stolen car. But really good action film. Definitely uh, straight up headshots. He has better accuracy in this film than, you know, anyone in any anything where there have ever been guns involved he has more accuracy like he just takes people out left and right um you know has a suit on basically the whole movie so it looks cool and he's killing people the whole movie it's really simple and it's like it's almost like a two hour long film and it's really good like that's the crazy thing it's like just a two hour action film it's mostly action you know like a normal film where it's like okay it does this it drops a little talk 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 action talk 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 action but it moves so fast paced it's so much freaking action in it the talking parts aren't that crappy because it's not just oh i'm doing this and i'm going to kill this guy or these people there are a billion different action sequences they're mostly fairly long and then in between and all the talking parts we learn about this assassin world which is actually really cool because they have the hotel they have their own rules within the hotel they have their own cleaning service where this person gets paid by the assassins to do cleanups and stuff like that. So, and I guess that's a, a very minute spoiler, but that's, sorry, that's, it's really not that big. Like, for this type of movie, literally the only real important spoiler is the beginning. Everything else is generic, like, assassin stuff. So, trust me, it, it has no real effect on the film. But it was really cool, and they do a really good build-up for this world. And, of course, the action itself is just amazing, but the characters are simple. You know, we have our main character, but played by Keanu Reeves, John Wick, and he's just a badass dude. That's pretty much it. The whole movie, he fights, he's good with guns, he's good with his hands, he's good with knives. That's it. Like, he's just really, really freaking cool. So, really great film. Highly recommend you guys see it if you haven't seen it already. And, of course, to get into the spoilers, there's some really good emotion. It's You wouldn't expect it from this film, but that opening sequence, the first 10 minutes of this film, super emotional. That's some real emotional stuff. Like, she's dying, and I don't think they actually explain why um, you know, his wife is dying, but really, really good. It was, like, really emotional, and he's tearing up over the letter and stuff, and he, get, of course, gets this dog, and it's the day that she dies and stuff, and it's kind of all he had was his wife, and so he's going through these steps of knowing that she's going to die soon, so, of course, that's really tragic, and then, of course, the letter comes in with the dog and everything, and 
that's all he has. And then, of course, who kills a dog? He kills a puppy. That's just real left up. So, uh, when my girlfriend and I were watching it, it was like, oh, because we, we have a dog. So, it's like, you know, that's crazy. Like, you know, they kill a dog. But um, it was really good. Like, the emotion for that was really good. And it makes sense. And then, you know, you get your really emotional moment. And they kind of pull you in like, yeah, I'd be on this guy's side too. And they stole his cool car. So, the emotional stuff of losing the person he loved. Getting a dog from that only person he truly loved. And then losing that dog. And they steal his car. They throw it back into, like, uh, the other car, that the, you know, the van that he had. And it's just like, wow, that's upped up. So he goes on a rampage, and he takes down everyone and everything in his path, and it's really freaking good. It was just a really good action film. Uh, like I said, there's not really much to spoil. Like, I mean, outside of detailing the action sequences, which I'm really not going to do, it was that opening sequence. Of course he wins. I think everyone knew he was going to survive, but the way he goes through people, it's, it's really good. Um, I, I will say that some of my favorite action sequences in this film, I love the first fight one. Uh, fight sequence where he's in the house and they actually go to kill him for the first time that's actually one of my favorites and it's probably because um i think the other ones take place where it's like okay there's the fight club scene or uh, the nightclub scene i should say so there's music and there's backgrounds and there's lights and this and that that's just a dark scene it's not too dark so you can see everything but there's really not a lot of music during that first fight and i actually love when films do that where it's just like you're just in it. There's no music. It's like real life. It's just silent. And whatever effects are happening is because he hit somebody, somebody hit him, or there are guns going off. And that's pretty much it. So it's fairly intense. And if there is music in that first scene, it's very low. And I like that. So I, I really like that. It, it sticks out because of that. there's no um, kind of normal movie stuff where it's music in the background and get you amped up for the film. It's just like, no, here's just a badass fight scene. Dudes are in his house. It's boom, 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 boom. They're done. So... I really love that. I do love the nightclub fight scene. That's my second favorite for sure. Um, just because he goes through so many freaking people. I think that's where he does the most headshots. And it's like he's doing a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat after he goes through. Because he kills a couple of guys. And it's just like, you know, he chokes the guy at the, um, in like the bathroom. He kills him by drawing him in the sink. Uh, I think he like stabbed the guy that was behind him on the locker or whatever. And then after that, that's when he pulls the gun out and it's like headshot, headshot, headshot. He has to counter somebody. He's like boom, right in the stomach. And then he still shoots you in the head. Like he shoots you like three times in the stomach. It's like a surgery though. Boom, right in the head. So very intense uh, segment he's going through. He gets cut up. You know, that's when he gets like the big cut because the guy like stabs him with the bottle. And then he gets tossed over, um, over railing and everything so that's my second favorite but i really love that first fight sequence just because it was it was just real it felt more realistic i guess is the best way to put it and it's only because there wasn't really music it was just people in his house he's ready to take some people down and that's what he does and it was just a really good uh fight sequence all the action sequences i think are good uh we have like our you know mini chase sequence at the end of the film as well but Really good movie. Very excited to see the second one. It's gotten some really good reviews. People are, like, really enjoying it. So I cannot wait to see how they somehow up the ante for the sequel. But I'm really looking forward to seeing it tonight. Of course, would love to know uh, what you guys thought about this film. Like I said, with me uh, discussing spoilers, for those of you that are here, if you are going to put comments in the comment section, please do put a spoiler tag just in case uh, someone comes along to, along to see this and they haven't. Uh, checked out this amazing film, which they really should. But we'll love to know what you guys thought about it. We'll love to know what you thought about the sequel, too. Uh, just put spoiler tags for that as well. And like I said, I'm going to see that tonight, so I'll be able to look at those very, very soon. Like, I probably by the time this is uploaded, I'll be at the film. So, you know, it'll be totally fine if you put spoilers for the second film as well. Once again, uh, I guess you might have to specify that it's for the second film, but you can also just wait because I'm going to do a full review. And I'll do an actual spoiler review uh, for that one as well, since it's a brand new film, I'll actually do two separate reviews uh, for that one. Or maybe I won't, because it's the same sort of deal where it's like, if it's if they somehow add more actual story to it, then I'll do that. But if it's just like the first one, I'll probably just still do one review and just kind of split down the middle like this, where it's like, all right, here's the simple stuff, and then here's the spoilers, because I assume it's going to be like this, where they might have one emotional moment, maybe a couple, I really don't know yet, but... For the most part, um, I would assume that there's not going to be too much for me to really spoil story-wise. Maybe the Lawrence Fishburne stuff might be where all the real story spoilers come in. And if that's a big chunk of the film, then I'll definitely do two separate reviews. I'll do my spoiler-free and then my spoiler review. But either way, if you want to wait, 
you know, and hold off your comments for the second film until I do those reviews. You can definitely do that, but like I said, we'd love to know what you thought about this film. Uh, how does it compare to some of your favorite action films of all time? I think, you know, just as a really generic example because everyone loves this movie. I don't know, it, it just got, it blew up. But The Raid, really loved that movie. Uh, personally, I'd rather see The Raid just because I'm a huge martial arts fan. I love hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, another film that I really, really love is called uh, 13 Assassins. That's a drama film, but it, the ending lasts like, I don't know, 30 minutes of the movie. is just people dying all over the place. It's an insane film. Don't know if I'd rather watch that or John Wick. I, I have only, I've only watched that movie once, and that was years ago, so I'd have to watch it again to be like, okay. But I'd probably watch that because it's a really good story. It's very dramatic and stuff, and it's about 13 people who band together. It's very similar to uh, Seven Samurai, for anyone who might be familiar with that. But I love that film. Really good action movie when it gets to the end, and it just is like Balls to the Walls action uh, for that one. But really good film. Definitely one of the great uh, action films just ever made, really. It was just really well done. And the story was simple, but not stupid simple. Like some other well-known action movies might be. Like the story would be simple, but it's like, that's just so simple, it's dumb. This is so simple, it works. It's just like, yep, yeah, I'd be sad about that. I'd be mad about that. I get it. And then he kills a bunch of people. So good movie. We'd love to know what you guys thought about it. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.